everybody and welcome. You remember in our video of our basil where I was going to propagate the basil and then in the pot there was a little plant growing and it was our surprise, surprise beautiful spaghetti squash. but this is the female and this is the male and I'm getting more male over there but at least I have one female who came out over there spaghetti squash coming soon it finally happened we have our beautiful spaghetti squash growing God, this is so amazing. It's looking so good. Look at that beauty. It's amazing. I started getting that mold of the spaghetti squash, so I'm gonna show you how we contain it with our mix. And what we did was we just added to that a mix of vinegar and red pepper, and that was it. And just spray it all over the plant and also around it and then just cut all the parts that were really moldy and we were good to go. There's a whole bunch of moldy growing now in the plant. I'm gonna take the ones that are really yellow, really bad, and I'm gonna get rid of them. And just put them away. Oh, so beautiful thank god so i noticed that there was more of that mold so i cut a few but i'm gonna keep on cutting more so that all the other ones can keep on growing stronger and i cleaned the area that it had lots of grass because grass attracts a lot of humidity so i'm leaving this area just completely just the soil wherever it, the plant is growing and i did a mix of just a spray bottle of vinegar and red pepper. So I'm gonna spray that all throughout the plant. So I'm gonna do that now. This is very strong mix. So I'm basically gonna be just in the soil around it. So we did it guys, we already cleaned up our squash, it's truly a wonderful blessing. It's just a little plant but it has given me a lot of joy. So if you also have, are like me just starting and you just have one thing and you're happy with that, that's amazing. Congrats to you guys. And this is the maximum that it grew. You see that the vine is dry out. And so you see that it's getting dry in this side. So now it should be ready to harvest. So we're gonna cut it today. So this flower arrangement that you see here, I just made it a few minutes ago and I'm just gonna show you how we did it and how you can do this at home as well. So the first things first, you're gonna wash this pretty squash, clean it all completely so that you make sure that it doesn't have anything that is dirt and you're introducing it into the spaghetti squash. Then you're gonna uh, preheat the oven to 400 degrees, okay? And then after that, you're gonna Put your knife in the middle and then pull away. It doesn't have to be perfect. Watch for your hand. And there's my baby spaghetti squash. After that, just clean the middle. So take and clean it. 
and don't throw away those seeds. Those seeds, you can use them and store them so that you can um, cultivate them for next year, which is what I'm gonna do. Hopefully next harvest is gonna be better. So cool. So you're gonna have this completely clean and now we're gonna put it now in a tray. Put it in a tray and drizzle to this tray some of the olive oil and salt and pepper. Just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil or butter. In my case, I'm using a mix of olive oil and butter. 50-50 and then you have some Himalayan salt or well, regular salt will be okay I just like the benefits that you get from the Himalayan salt and also some pepper yum 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 the oven for 40 minutes to 45 minutes at 400 degrees while we wait let's go ahead and start doing our arrangement this basket over here is whenever I do my walks around the community or even in my garden, I go ahead and snap every flower that I can find. So we have here um, branches of trees, we might have roses, we might have even clovers, we might have even the little um, grasses that they produce this little seed. So I love how they look so whimsical, so I might conserve it. So I'm actually gonna be using this for this arrangement. So there's all kinds of things that you can use, and if you don't know, you're gonna be using it at the moment, don't discard them. If you find them pretty, then put it in a basket in a place that's gonna be dry. Once it has dried, then you can go ahead and use it in your, in your arrangement. So we're not gonna need no water, no nothing. I love this base because it's a big base in the bottom, but then in the top, it's a small, narrow opening. So I don't need to worry that I need to use lots of flour. The broader the top, the more flowers you're gonna need. So, I have this hydrangea over here. So this is gonna be my base, because they are narrow and very bushy, so I like how they hang. So I'm gonna put the two big ones right here at the bottom. They filled up almost the whole thing. There we go. Okay. Then I'm gonna use this ones over here, which I don't remember what they were. I know that they were green color before. This is gonna be in the middle. I have a rose color here. I like how that rose looks. So this is gonna be any in the side. Like so.
we just finished our arrangement while we wait for our spidey squash to be done. It's very wild, it's very asymmetric, and I love how it looks. You know, nothing, things doesn't need to be perfect. Nothing is exactly perfect. Only God is perfect. So this is a beautiful, beautiful display. Let's go ahead and get a squash. It's so beautiful. So look at it guys. This is our result. So what you gotta do is after it has been out and it's cooled off, then you can go ahead and grab it. getting all of it from the inside <laughs> just start scraping it it should come off peeled off very easily wow this is so much so wonderful and the squash variety squash is delicious and it's a great alternative for pasta and if you're like in a low carb diet on keto, this is a great alternative for you to enjoy your meals. It's also full of antioxidants and it has lots of great vitamins, especially vitamin A and vitamin C. So it is a wonderful, wonderful alternative and beneficial towards your health. So I scrape everything up. So this is the end result of the roast fed spaghetti squash. What an amazing journey and blessing. What it was before a surprise spaghetti squash that we didn't know if it was gonna grow. Then we took care of it, nurture it, and then we have now our harvest and we can enjoy it. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, our end result. I'm gonna mix it up with some meat, which if you are vegetarian, then don't go ahead, just eat it how it is. Put some extra cheese, mozzarella, whatever you want, go wild, beans, and enjoy it. It's just delicious, just how it is. I guess you have just one bite of it. Oh, it's so yummy. It's amazing. So I just went ahead and I just mixed it up with ground beef and also some cheese and melted everything. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of the clippings of my basil. We propagated the basil, so we have lots of basil, and we also gave away basil to our neighbors. So it's a wonderful way for you to bless others by dividing and giving to others, which we have been amazingly blessed by our neighbors with their harvest as well. They have shared many things with us. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this. Enjoy the video, enjoy all of our wonderful blessings. I am so happy that you guys got to watch this growth and surprise, because it is definitely a surprise, it was definitely a surprise for us. So, may you stay blessed, enjoy the miracles, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye guys, thank you for watching. If you're not a part of the community yet, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye!